Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan, and this is your Coscast for Tuesday, January 18th. The psalm that we're going to think about this week is Psalm 67, a rather short psalm, just seven verses. And this morning, we're going to focus on just the first two verses of that psalm. In the first verse, the psalmist calls to mind the blessing that the Lord commanded his priest to speak over his people. The same blessing that we hear week after week to close out our worship services. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. In the first verse of this psalm, the psalmist prays that the Lord would carry through on that blessing in his life writes, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. It's wonderful to close each of our services with a reminder of God's blessing that he promises to his people, his grace. And it's great to begin each day calling to mind the blessing of God that he has promised uh, to give us, that he would be gracious to us this day. God's grace is his undeserved love. We pray that God would treat us not as our sins deserve, but according to his loving heart, that he would forgive our sins and fill us with peace, that he would also then make his face shine on us, that when we look to the face of our Lord, it's not a face of anger showing his wrath, but a face of approval showing his, uh, his loving acceptance of who we are. And that is only possible through faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus is the one that brings to us the grace of God in his death for our sins and resurrection, and then gives us God's approval by, uh, as we are clothed with his righteousness. The second verse of the psalm really brings out the emphasis of the whole psalm. It's, a, it's an evangelism psalm, that God's grace and his blessing would be known to the ends of the earth, that all peoples would know God's grace. And this makes the psalm very appropriate uh, for the epiphany season. It continues, That your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. And so what is the connection? We ask that God would bless us, be gracious to us, make his face shine on us, that his grace might be known among all the nations. How does that happen? Well, when we share God's blessing with others. When we realize that God has blessed us and given us a purpose, and that is to spread his word, to share his grace, that others might know his hand of blessing as well. That's one way that God reveals himself to the nations. It's through us sharing the way we've been blessed with others. And so today... We thank God for his grace and his hand of blessing, his face shining upon us, and we ask that he would help us to be a blessing to others, that they may praise and know him as well. And so we pray uh, the thoughts of these first two verses of the psalm. Lord, today, be gracious to us and bless us. And through us, show your grace and your hand of blessing to all the people on earth. Amen. God be with you today.